we've now reached the stage of group analysis. For example, does group A, on average, have more or less cortical thickness than group B, and where? The following commands will allow us to answer those questions. First, remember the QCache option? That resamples the structural maps for each subject to the FS average template, and smooths the maps at different kernels. If you've already included that option during Recon All, then we just have to stack all of our maps together for a group analysis. Here, I'm going to be analyzing cortical thickness and cortical volume, but you can analyze any of the outputs in the surf directory that you like. Our first command is MRI's preproc. This concatenates all of the subject maps that we will use for our group analysis. I've created a script that gives you control of looping over hemispheres, smoothing kernels, and measurements. Here I'm analyzing both the left and right hemisphere, only looking at the 10 mm smooth maps, and focusing on volume and thickness. Nested within these loops is the command MRI's preproc. It requires the FSGD file we created in the previous tutorial for a list of subjects and then loads the smooth files from the QCache command. We tell it that all of the images have been resampled to the FS average template. We then specify which hemispheres we wish to create group maps for, and specify the output file. This script takes the study name as an argument, which is the name of your FSGD file. Here, I've called it cannabis study, so run it with TCSH run MRI's preproc.sh cannabis study. The output is an MGH file, one per hemisphere and per structural measurement, along with a log file for debugging. Next, we need to set up our model and run our contrasts. Again, I've created a script which will automate this for the hemispheres and measurements you wish to look at. The command MRI GLM fit takes the concatenated image outputs from MRI's preproc, and then runs a model at each vertex. The FSGD file specifies which class corresponds to which subject, and the contrast files make contrast maps and calculate the significance of the contrast at each vertex. Here, we've only specified two contrast files, but you can make as many as you like. Lastly, the surf command means to run the analyses on the surface of the FS average template. Cortex means to only run the model and contrasts on the cortex, and then we output the contrast files. Run this command by typing tcsh runglms.sh cannabis study. This creates one output directory per hemisphere per measurement. Navigate to the directory LH Volume Cannabis Study 10.glmdir. There are two subdirectories, one for each contrast we specified. The y.fsgd contains our FSGD file. Beta.mgh contains the parameter estimates from the model. See if you can figure out what the other files contain. Within the contrast directories, we have MGH files, which are statistical maps. The sig.mgh file contains the significance at each vertex, while the z.mgh file contains transformed z-scores. pcc.mgh contains correlation coefficients, and gamma.mgh contains effect sizes. We can see the significance maps on the FS average overlay by typing the following. Freeview-f, subjects dir, FS average, slash surf, slash LH inflated, and then a colon to specify the overlay. This overlays the sig.mgh file on the FS average inflated template. Make sure to load the hemisphere that the directory is based on, in this case, the left hemisphere. Also be aware that FreeSurfer uses negative log 10 notation. In other words, a value of 3 corresponds to a p-value of 0.001. Click on Configure to change the threshold of what is displayed on the brain. We're almost there. In the next video, we will cover cluster correction to determine once and for all 
where marijuana is located in the brain.